Welcome to our deep dive into the complex intersection of neuroscience, sleep, dreams, and artificial intelligence. Today, we are on a mission to unravel an intriguing theory about the function and purpose of dreams. Are our brains acting like artificial intelligence systems while we sleep? Do our nightly saunters into dreamland serve a function beyond what we currently understand? We're going to explore these questions as we journey into the overfitted brain hypothesis. If you're ready to uncover the hidden dimensions of your own sleep, sit back, relax, and prepare for a tour of this cognitive landscape of dreams. We'll start by answering a simple question. What happens when we train an artificial intelligence model? Well, the AI is fed a significant amount of data, absorbing patterns and learning to predict outcomes based on this data. However, there's a common pitfall in this process known as overfitting. To understand overfitting, we first need to comprehend the concept of generalization in terms of artificial intelligence. In the world of AI, to generalize means to use knowledge learned from a specific data set to understand and process new unseen data. It's similar to learning the rules of grammar in English and then using those rules to write sentences you've never seen before. Essentially, an AI model that generalizes well is able to effectively apply its learning to unfamiliar scenarios and produce accurate predictions or decisions. Overfitting happens when an AI model during its training phase becomes excessively focused on the training data's minute details. This excessive tailoring to the training data leads the model to perform poorly when exposed to new, unseen data. It's as if the model has learned to play a song perfectly on the guitar, but cannot play any other song due to its over-specialization. So how do data scientists tackle overfitting? Well, one technique is known as dropout. This randomizes some of the data to improve the AI model's generalization capabilities. This method intentionally simplifies the model to make it more robust in handling unfamiliar data. Now, imagine our brains functioning along similar lines. What if our brains, like an AI model, run the risk of overfitting to patterns and experiences in our waking lives? Could it be that our nightly dreams serve as some kind of dropout function, introducing random imaginative scenarios to help us better generalize our daily experiences? Could dreams be a tool for our brains to avoid overfitting and improve cognitive flexibility? Well, this is the cornerstone of the overfitted brain hypothesis. As proposed by Eric Howell, a research scholar exploring the complex frontiers of artificial intelligence and neuroscience, his theory offers an innovative way to think about the purpose of dreams. From the dawn of human civilization, we have been intrigued and mystified by dreams. From ancient dream interpretation manuals to modern sleep labs, humans have attempted to decipher the meaning and purpose of dreams for thousands of years. Despite these efforts, the evolutionary purpose of dreams remains rather elusive. Theories have been proposed from Freud's interpretation of dreams as the expression of repressed desires to more recent neuroscientific explanations that relate dreams to memory consolidation, emotional processing, and problem solving. Yet, these theories have their limitations. For instance, if dreams are a replay of our daily events for memory consolidation, why are our dreams often strange, nonsensical, and unlike our daily experiences? If dreams are for emotional processing, why do some dreams evoke intense emotions while others are devoid of emotional content altogether? The overfitted brain hypothesis suggests that the key to understanding dreams may not lie in the specific content of the dreams, but in the dream phenomenon itself. The randomness, strangeness, and seemingly nonsensical narrative of dreams may serve a vital function to prevent overfitting and improve our brain's ability to generalize and adapt to new information. Delving deeper, we can find striking parallels between the nature of dreams and certain techniques used in training deep learning models. Domain randomization is one such technique in which AI models are trained in various random altered environments. This training forces them to adapt and generalize their learning, preventing overfitting. 
Dreams often embody this same principle of domain randomization. They present us with altered realities, bending the rules of physics, mixing different time periods, or introducing impossible creatures. This randomness in our dreams may help our brains generalize better, as it forces the brain to adapt to unusual and unpredictable scenarios. Similarly, the principle of data augmentation, where the training data is altered or supplemented to improve model performance, can also be seen in the way dreams present scenarios that deviate from our waking reality. By augmenting our daily experiences with dream experiences, the brain may improve its ability to generalize new information. The overfitted brain hypothesis offers a novel perspective on the function and purpose of dreams. It suggests that our dreams may play a pivotal role in cognitive processes such as learning, memory, creativity, and decision making by helping our brains avoid overfitting to our daily experiences. Although this hypothesis is still in its early stages, it opens up many exciting avenues for future research. Can we quantify the impact of dreams on our cognitive abilities? Could dream interventions improve our learning and problem-solving skills? Can dreamlike stimuli be used to enhance AI learning and generalization? These are just some of the fascinating questions that the overfitted brain hypothesis could lead us to explore. The journey to understand the purpose of dreams is a challenging and complex one, but as we continue to explore and test hypotheses like the overfitted brain hypothesis, we get one step closer to understanding the fascinating mystery of why we dream. This novel theory also opens up a wealth of potential implications and applications. For instance, the idea that dreams can help optimize cognitive functioning could have profound implications for education and mental health. It could, for example, pave the way for a new learning method that leverages dreams to enhance memory and problem-solving skills. Consider also the potential implications for artificial intelligence. Could incorporating dreamlike functions into AI systems enhance their learning and generalization capabilities? We can envision future AI models that are programmed to dream or process random data to improve their overall performance. Furthermore, understanding the cognitive benefits of dreaming could potentially lead to new therapeutic interventions for mental health disorders. For instance, if it's found that certain dream patterns contribute to better cognitive functioning, then therapies could be developed to encourage these patterns in individuals with cognitive deficits or mental health disorders. Like any groundbreaking theory, the overfitted brain hypothesis is not without controversy. Some critics argue that the hypothesis oversimplifies the complex nature of the human brain. After all, the human brain is much more than a data processing machine. It's influenced by a multitude of factors, including emotions, hormones, social interactions, and much, much more. There is also a debate about whether the randomness we see in dreams is truly comparable to the randomness introduced in machine learning techniques like dropout or domain randomization. Dreams may contain random events, but they also often include familiar events from our waking lives, such as people we know, places we've been, or things that we've done. Despite these debates, the overfitted brain hypothesis has succeeded in stimulating a fresh conversation about the function of dreams. It invites us to take a look beyond the content of individual dreams and consider the broader function that dreaming might serve. As we step into the future, the exploration of dreams continues to be a fascinating endeavor. The overfitted brain hypothesis provides a unique lens through which to view this endeavor, prompting us to ask new questions and explore novel pathways. There is much we still don't know. For example, how does the brain decide what kind of randomness to introduce in our dreams? What factors influence this process? What is the impact of different types of dreams on cognitive functioning? How do changes in our waking lives affect dreaming and vice versa? As we continue our journey into the world of dreams, it's clear that the more we learn, the more complex and fascinating the picture becomes. One thing is certain though, the exploration of dreams, sleep, and cognition will continue to captivate scientists and lay people alike for years and years to come. So there you have it, a journey into the intriguing intersection of dreams artificial intelligence, and cognitive science. From exploring the basics of AI and machine learning to delving into the heart of the overfitted brain hypothesis, we've traversed through a landscape full of theories, debates, and potential future implications. 
Remember, the next time you wake up from a dream, consider that you might be experiencing the result of your brain's own version of an AI dropout function, a randomizer designed to keep your mental processes flexible and adaptable. The overfitted brain hypothesis serves as a reminder of the intricate mysteries of the human brain, its capabilities, and its potential. It's an invitation to continue questioning, learning, and dreaming as we strive to unlock more secrets of our brain's enigmatic workings. Thank you for joining us on this cognitive exploration. Until next time, keep dreaming, stay curious, and continue to marvel at the incredible wonder that is the human brain. Thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please click that like button and subscribe. And if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much.